Hello, welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at September 4, 2024's Killer Clone uh, by Clover. Clover's one of our says here at Gas HQ Somewhere. My name is Bill Murphy. Uh, it is my pleasure and honor to solve this one for you. If I look a little more relaxed than normal, it's because I just came home from the pub and forgot I had to solve something. Um, we are gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create, set, and solve genuinely approachable Sudoku uh, for you. For free. Um, you can find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. Uh, you will also find hat times. Hat times are our indicator of how fast or so, uh, slow you solve a puzzle. Two hats is for a very fast time. One hat is for a pretty fast time. And everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. Um, yeah, that's about it. Let's just get into it. Let's not screw around. Um, this is a killer clone puzzle. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Each box, each row, and each column must contain the digits one to nine once each. Now, also, digits in cages, such as this one, uh, do not repeat and must sum to the indicated total. Also, identical cages with the same total across the grid always contain identical digits uh, in exactly the same digits in the same configuration. So, just cold guessing in the dark if this was one two three four like that this must also be one two three four like that um that's it that's all you need to know to solve the puzzle if you want to give it a go yourself the link is in the description but i'm gonna get into it right now so uh this this is one two three four and this is one two three four and this is one two three four but if we want to be a little bit clever now we know that one can't be in that uh, in those two cells. It also can't be in those two cells. But the one down here means one can't go in those cells. So one must go in these cells. Now we also know that this has to be two, three, four, two, three, four, and two, three, four. Uh, let's look over here. Now we have three thirty cages. Now. The 30 cage must, oh, and I guess we can take the three out of here as well. I guess if we're being pedantic about it. Now, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, and six, seven, eight, nine. Um, but uh, where do we put six in the 30 cages? Well, six can't go there, there, or there because this six sees those cells. So six has to go in these three cages. Now, we can do some stuff with this knowledge this powerful forbidden knowledge. Uh, but over here, let's just do this instead. Uh, how do I make seven in two cells if I can't put a one or a three? That uh, The only way we can do that is if this is two and five, which means uh, I can't put two in that cell or that cell or that cell. Two, uh, meaning that must be one and four. Uh, before you're like, did Bill accidentally write the answer uh, of what's actually in those digits before he started the puzzle? The answer is uh, not intentionally, but uh, I don't actually know. However, what I will point out is this seven is shared all the way across all of these cells. So this is all two and five pairs. Now, uh, what else am I gonna do here? <laughs> Oh, right. I have a 12 cage over here. Now this 12 cage can't be three and nine because I know that I have to have a three and a nine there. It also can't be four and eight. So this two cell 12 cage must contain five and seven, uh, but I have four of them. So that's five and seven. But now what is this cell? Because I know that this has to be six, seven, eight, nine in this 30 cage, but it can't have a six, it can't have a seven, and it can't have an eight. So that means all three of these cells must be nine, and these two cells need to be seven and eight. Um, all right. Hey, good question. Uh, oh, let's just do some Sudoku. Uh, where does six go up here? Six must go here, and then that's eight and nine. This point, uh, and this one over here means that one can't go in those cells, so one must go there. So this is a th three, four pair, and this is an eight, nine pair, which is gonna do quite a bunch of damage. This eight down here means that this is now, uh, these three cells are seven, and these three cells are eight. But this three, four pair looks up 
at this, meaning this uh, these three souls must be two, and these and these souls must be three. Now, in my four twelve cages, all of these must be five, and all of these must be seven. In my seven cages, uh, the left one must be five, and the right one must be two. Now. I have two 11 cages, and they can't contain two nine, five six, or four seven, which means they need to be three and eight. And this eight and three tell us which way around they go. So this is three eight and three eight. That is all of the variant puzzle logic done for this puzzle. So that uh, now we are just through to classic Sudoku. So six here, uh, eight nine. Oi, eight nine. Um, uh, that's a naked single six. Um, all right. Where where else am I looking? That's a one. Uh, three four nine. That's a one. Three four over there. Uh, nine, seven, eight. Nine eight nine eight. Uh, that's a four up here. Uh, let's come over here. Four, three, nine, four, three, four, three, uh, six, and nine, six, two, uh, four, uh, one, five power over here. That's a five and a one. Uh, seven and nine, uh, one, two, and four. That's been Killer Clone Sudoku by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And I will see you next time. Cheers.